Moin and welcome to my channel. This is Grumpy Old Nerd and uh, this video is about servos. What a surprise. In my research for servos, I, um, I came across uh, D-Power, which is the Rex 265SG uh, uh, I re already reviewed. And um, I occasionally uh, stumbled upon um, one or two of the GDW servos on uh, this Chinese uh, uh, shopping site we all know. And uh, I now have five different types of them. And uh, spoiler alert, all of them are awesome. Um, who is GDW, you'll ask? GDW is a Chinese company um, based in uh, Dongguan. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, GDW stands for uh, Dongguan Lixiang World Electronic Technology Limited. And uh, they produce mainly servos. And uh, they have quite a lot of experience with servos. Um, since 2010, they produce OEM servos for different big brands. And uh, since 2014, they produce uh, also their own servos under the GDW brand. And um, they produce 50,000 servos per month, um, mainly digital and mainly Metal Gear servos that are in a metal shell, in an aluminum shell. And uh, if you just uh, consider the fact it's 50,000, they might be the biggest servo manufacturer in the world. Let's dive into it. Um, I have a small eight millimeter servo here. It's the DS1906B. Uh, it's an eight gram servo, eight millimeter. Um, it will be the elevator servo for the nano drug. And I'll review that later together with the DS190C, which is um, the which is a wing type 10 millimeter servo. Um, and it is uh, designated to go into my hotliner as aileron servos. So these are yeah glider type servos. I just mentioned them here, brilliant build quality. And I'll do a review later on, on them. The DS290MG and the DS590MG. And these are the two we'll be looking at today. Okay, so I'll start with this one. This will go into the number drug uh, for the ailerons, uh, respectively elevons, if you don't uh, fly a boom kit. What I normally do first when I get a servo is uh, how do they sound? And this one will be compared to uh, the my new reference servo, the D-Power Rex 265SG. Let's just focus on the gearing sound. The gearing on the D-Power, a 50 euro servo, is actually louder than on the GDW. Regarding specs, the DS290 um, is rated up to 7.4 volts, uh, 8.4 uh, actually. 7.4 is uh, is the uh, common uh, voltage you will use on on a on a rather better flight controller. Uh, regarding flight controller, um, do not use a flight controller with a weak BEC on these, because. On 7.4 volts, which is um, easily jumperable uh, on a Maytag F765, uh, this thing will produce two amps of current on stall. So if you hang 5.6 kilograms uh, on them and stall them, uh, this thing will draw uh, 2000 milliamps of current um, on 7.4 volts, which is not huge, but it's considerable. Uh, what I found interesting about these is uh, they market these as titanium geared, or at least uh, titanium uh, surface treatment for the gearings. 
Um, I'll have to dive uh, into that uh, later. I'll do a little research on them. I already uh, shot them an email just uh, to verify a few bits of information. But um, I'll open uh, one up. I have already opened one up uh, for you, so we'll have a look at that later. They uh, are honest with their parts because they state actually which um, potentiometer they use. And they use a Japanese one made in Japan. Uh, it's a Japanese Noble 220 degrees. And if you uh, Google for Noble uh, potentiometers, um, you'll find a rather big brand with a, a typical Japanese history. And um, these are about uh, the top notch um, potentiometers you can buy for, uh, for this kind of application. Um, they're used by Futaba, they're used by Yeti, and uh, so we'll, we'll have uh, a pretty good impression in which company we're in right now. So, let's look at the internals. Regarding the gearings, all metal gearings, of course, um, very well uh, lubricated. And of course, double ball bearing. Uh, the bearings sit pretty tight, which is good for uh, for any gear slop or against any gear slop. And just look at the build quality of the board. And just compare it with your standard Metal Gear servo uh, you'll find on the market. Um, the solder job is amazing and what is pretty interesting about this is that they already uh, did a little bit of insulation just to keep um, that uh, soldering away from the metal body. Uh, impression? Brilliant. Really, really good. They are silent and the best thing, they're cheap. Um, one of this 12mm uh, servos is 25 bucks. Regarding the specs, uh, this one is a little faster, this one is a little uh, stronger, but regarding the facts uh, that um, this one is half the price, there is absolutely no reason to buy this. Okay, the other ones. I have actually no 15mm servo for comparison, but just... Listen to this. These are the smoothest gears I, or I, I ever experienced with a servo. These are brilliant. Just to have a look at the builds uh, inside. Um, we have eight screws. <laughs> And uh, the gearing sits pretty tight. Uh, double ball bearings, of course, a pretty big cup of, uh, of motor. You see here, these are 12 kilogram servos. Uh, just to get you an impression. Uh, they weigh around 46 grams with cable. Also uh, titanium treated gears. Uh, digital of course and um, uh, what's interesting about these two is the fact that they also use the Japanese noble potentiometer which is pretty precise. Um, And I hope I'll get this focused enough. Look at this. This is a piece of art. Again, soldier job is amazing. And if you wonder why I have these little white dirt dots on the surface mounted devices, 
listen to me this is this is brilliant this is i haven't i haven't uh seen that before they actually had a thermal conductive pad on this to actually use um the body shell for cooling so these were connected to the body shell with a thermal conductive pad i destroyed <laughs> by um disassembling them but uh i think it'll it'll work eventually and uh, i haven't seen that uh in any servos i looked at so well what does this servo cost 75 100 normal price if you compare with kst or d power or whatever no these are 45 45 for a 12 kilogram servo uh, that <laughs> with a speed that uh, um, is better than most uh, 12 millimeter small servos because it's uh, 0 0.07 uh, seconds per 60 degrees pretty cool pretty cool regarding the application i bought these for uh, these for the big drug and uh, the other one I, I just showed you for the nano drug i had uh, bought this one uh, for my mini drug because the mini drug uh, would be um, some sort of a, a high speed high speed cruiser and uh, i didn't want to make any compromises with that so uh, i bought that before I actually uh, found the other ones from GD GDW, but um, regarding what I saw with these servos right now, I have no, absolutely no uh, objections against buying this one for 25 instead this one for 50 for the mini drag also. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, this one wasn't that long as I expected but uh, I hope uh, this is helpful for you. Thanks a lot.